Weird World TV. She got you an umbrella. Round three. Gather round, fight lovers, and prepare to see the worst excesses of celebrity behavior. The Star Wars premiere was a great example. JK rolls up in his brand new car, 170 grand. Wanted a lot of attention and wanted to let them know they couldn't afford a car like him because he was the big man. Oh, you want to go get some contacts so up? <laughs> he was waiting for Samantha Robson the bill star, who followed him out of the nightclub, got in the car, and then all his minders got in as well. So there are about 15 people in one Bentley at this stage. All he needs to do is go quietly home with his soap star girlfriend. Pictures have been taken of his brand new car. Everyone's happy. But of course, it's not enough for JK. <laughs> As the car drove off, he grabbed at a photographer. Not very smart. <laughs> His car got damaged. He says somebody kicked it. The photographers all denied it. Now, here's the crux of the matter. Obviously, as they were going around the corner in the limousine, somebody wound him up. Somebody said, J or K, whatever they call him in the privacy of his own Bentley, somebody's just booted your car, and through his drink fueled haze, he thought, I'm going back to have a go. Next thing, the little man comes storming down the street. Clearly, he's not happy. Somebody's touched his Bentley, and, you know, he wants revenge. Who's the one who stole the motor car? No, no, no. No, no, Jeff. Eventually, they, they single out this kind of quite small photographer, presumably because he's the smallest guy there. Was it you? They know who was it? Was it you? Because we're talking about all the old bills. So, was it you? Yeah, please call them now. Mark, I've done nothing. No, let's go. No, it was you. Just let him know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
going to show it. We're going to show it to you, and you're going to pay for it, or your <laughs> newspaper's going to pay for it. What? Are you going to pay for it? Oh, I, do you know how much it's going to cost you? I've done that. I bought that. Who Look, did the that? He just saw you. He just saw you. Throw the can. What did you throw? I throw nothing. I throw nothing. Did you, nothing you kick it? it? Did you punch no, it? No, well, there's no, a big no. Dent in it. Why are you picking on me? I've done oh, because you look guilty. I've done you look Whoa. 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 It was classic. It was just deserved. It spoke volumes about what a lot of us would like to do to a lot of different celebrities. Whoa. Whoa. It's just incredibly satisfying to watch because it's like the little guy fighting back. It's David and Goliath. It's up to his mate to kick the photographer out of harm's way. And now he's gone, Jay can stop playing the tough guy once again. But you know, we're just not convinced anymore. Oh, lucky my boys were here. What's he talking about? His boys, you know. The guy's shorter than him, you know. He's with his boys, he's with this huge entourage of these kind of grovelling sycophants, you know. Who else does he need, you know, to take on this little guy? It's pathetic. <laughs> There's another struggle inside the hotel, but it's just his friends trying to stop him from getting into another confrontation that could damage his looks. That's where you get the famous JK pose, the one you'll see in all the newspapers every time he goes on a night out. Let me at him. Three people in front of him, trying to punch over the top, let me at him. If all those people moved, JK wouldn't attack anybody. There's always a danger of a celebrity becoming a joke figure if they can't control what they've done, if they can't learn from the mistakes they've made. My advice to him would be is to take a deep breath, have a look what's gone on, and actually think about where you're going next. Do you think that's in order? According to the latest newspaper reports, JK has decided to quit the music industry. Let's just hope he doesn't try and become a boxer. He's got the talk, but unfortunately... That... Me and Mark. Texas? What? Oh. Hey Miley, good job on Saturday Night Live. You think Lindsay deserves to be upset over her being made fun of? Miley? What the heck? Okay. Are you serious? Or do you go calm down? You just hit my mom with your mom. I didn't hit your mom? Yes, you just ran into my mom with your mom. I just ran into my mom with your camera. Mom, that would never disrespect your mom. Don't you ever do that again. You just almost hurt my mom. Don't you ever even think about it. For real. That's how you're going to disrespect me? I was obviously. I don't think you do that. 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 Miley, you all right? I was all bad, dog. Maybe it was the pressure of the press, perhaps it was the jet lag. Whatever, it took just one reporter and a simple greeting, welcome to Bangkok, for the pop star to lose that Icelandic cool. The British-born journalist was more stunned than injured as Björk was led away, not, however, having calmed down. Later, her record company said the reporter had been pestering her for four days.